A recent maneuver in the Taiwan Strait by a Chinese warship passing a U.S. Navy destroyer in what the United States called an unsafe manner highlighted the tensions between the world's largest superpowers. It was against this backdrop that U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen visited the Chinese capital late last week. In Beijing, she met with parties to discuss issues ranging from trade, the environment, and spying. There appears to have been some progress, but Yellen said the two countries still have a way to go. The U.S. and China have significant disagreements. Those disagreements need to be communicated clearly and directly. But President Biden and I do not see the relationship between the U.S. and China through the frame of great power conflict. We believe that the world is big enough for both of our countries to thrive. Yellen's trip follows the Chinese spy balloon incident from earlier this year, where a high-altitude balloon traveled much of the United States and Canada. The U.S. ultimately shot down the craft, and the Chinese government called that an excessive reaction, a topic of discussion brought up by new Chinese Vice Premier Hala Fong at a meeting last week with Yellen. It is regretful that due to a series of unexpected incidents, such as the airship, the China-U.S. relations have had some difficulties, particularly in implementing the consensus of the two state leaders. We wish the U.S. side would take a rational and practical attitude, meet with the Chinese side halfway, and put positive remarks into actions so as to stabilize and improve China-U.S. relations. Yellen also met to discuss what she called honest lines of communication, particularly around climate issues. As the two largest economies in the world, it's in our interest to work together on these challenges, and it's something the world expects of us. And climate change is on the top of the list of global challenges, and the United States and China must work together to address this existential threat. While a major diplomatic breakthrough wasn't expected by either country, Yellen's visit came amid a particularly turbulent time in relations. The Wall Street Journal reported last month that China had reached a secret deal with Cuba to establish an electronic eavesdropping station capable of gathering information from the southeastern United States. Further compounding issues recently was when U.S. President Joe Biden called Chinese President Xi Jinping a dictator. Arash Arabasadi. VOA News.